So we just got our our meat chicks, our cross, our uh, Cornish Cornish cross broilers. Here they are. A little peek, a little peek inside. Oh, there they are. Yep. Alrighty. That's 50 of them. Here we go home. All right, here's the here's the first look. Hmm. Oh yeah. There they are. Looks like we might have one dead one. Dead one in there, but uh, count them up, isn't it? Counted that we have 54. 54? 54? Yeah. Alright, 54. 54 live chicks. Ordered 50. And they sent us 54 just in case some of them don't make it. One of them didn't make it. On our way home. Alright, what do we have one of here? One from this box jumped over. Papa, this is the lot of 20. Papa, this is the lot of meat birds. 50. We have 54. All right, so let's get the water. No, we're not putting it, we're putting it right by the door so we can get to it easily. Just um, like right there. We'll just put it like right here against that board or whatever. Yeah, we gotta do the first one. That's fine, Emma. Mom, let's go look at the one. Is this a good spot to move it out here a little bit more? No, I think it's good. Can I get in the sun? Or we can turn it so that these two sides are in the sun path more? Um, I don't know. I seems think it's like, going to be... Seems like unless it's in the evening, they're going to have a lot of wind. Maybe it would be good just to block the wind. Turn up? More, yeah. Papa, Here, can Mommy, you hold this? Did the die by getting cold? I don't know. Damn it. Last time they were like one quarter of the Okay, watch out, we're gonna turn this. Stay back. Oh, here you can get this side, buddy. We're just gonna basically turn it though. Right like this. Just to block the wind. Alright, let's get the water in there. Introduce them to some water. I'm getting this. Already. Yeah, they're probably thirsty. It's been three days. They're already walking around pecking. <laughs> oh, hello, tiny. Midget. This one is the tiniest out of all of them. So I'm sure we're not the first ones to try this, but we have our own feed. We made our own feed. It's kind of a, a mush of sorts. We ground out, ground up some grains. We added more, more protein because the chicks need a higher percentage of protein. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 17 to 23 percent protein, so we added more of the protein grains, and here they are. And you know, hopefully this is hopefully this is going to work out okay. Uh, chicks are going to be healthy. Uh, if the, if it doesn't work out so well, I guess you'll find out. Uh, they're drinking happily. Looks like they're sunbathing. Lost a few the, chicks. Yeah, um, I don't think they were warm enough. 
Uh, maybe they didn't have enough water, maybe they were weak. They kept, most chicks I think arrive in one to two days from the chick hatchery. Um, and ours were sent out Tuesday night and they got here Friday morning. So you know, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday. Maybe some of them had a long journey, but it looks like maybe we figured out the heat lamp situation for now. They're happy and they're, they're quiet and they're eating and they're drinking. And it looks like we're doing well for now. Well, we're gonna see how these meat chickens, how these Cornish cross broilers are doing this morning. Well, well, well. Look at that. They look like they're doing fantastic. They have water, they're eating food. Oh, well, looks like we might have one, one more dead one, unfortunately. Ooh, ouch. But uh, looks like, looks like most everybody else is pretty healthy. All right. Check out this little presentation of chicks. and roosters <laughs> looking pretty good hello hello little ones hello <laughs> yeah this is our brooder that we built they're doing just fine right now. 